At a Senate Commerce, Science, and Transportation hearing on July 9th, Congress convened to question NOAA Administrator nominee Neil Jacobs and Assistant Secretary of Commerce for NOAA Taylor Jordan. Senator Loomis of Wyoming asked the nominees how tech can be used for weather predictions. What role do you see technology playing in addressing current forecasting challenges? Um, and how would you balance the ability of technology to serve versus human forecasters? I think the, the use of technology is probably a mix. Uh, technology, well, maybe like a three-prong mix. So using new technology, whether it's space-based or in situ systems like drones to collect observations to build a, a data set of better initial conditions is gonna improve the models. Then a lot of compute architecture, uh, CPUs are almost phased out. We're looking at GPUs now, other types of chips to optimize that using AI. And then on the back end, as we've been discussing today, using different types of technologies and capabilities to more rapidly and effectively distribute the watches and warnings. Mr. Jordan, do you have a comment on that? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator. Uh, I, I would agree with Dr. Jacobs, but also want to mention that uh, in addition to technology and moving next generation technologies into the, the stack of what NOAA uses for a weather forecast is important, and technologies like AI are going to help the, the forecasters do their job, but the, the people in the offices at the local level who understand how wacky the weather can be sometimes yeah. is extremely important. For more Congress clips, stay right here, and thanks for watching.